We did put on a lot of mileage walking around. Uh, if you are one who likes to walk and keep track using a fitness tracker, then be very well aware that a new study says that some of these trackers may not be telling you the whole truth. 12 different fitness trackers were compared, and they were all over the board with the amount of calories. Not so much the amount of steps, but the amount of calories that they considered that you were burning. Yeah, so, so was it like hundreds off? Yeah, or, hundreds, yeah hundreds, some of off. them. Wow. I mean, if you had a bunch of people and they were all doing the same things, granted their calories would be a little bit different, but these were way off. Now, for, for regular day-to-day -day use, it's all kind of relative. It's just kind of nice to know that you are doing something and burning yeah. some calories. But don't just decide, I'm eating that extra hot fudge sundae because my <laughs> tracker says so, because they were a little bit marginal. But, but I think it's still a good idea, right? Because it's still keeping track of something. So even though they might be off a little bit, it's relative. So you're going to see that you are putting out more activity. It right. just might not be well, as Well, that's accurate. just it. It's right. all so, relative So it's to better you. than nothing? Well, exactly. If you're doing more, you're going to see more yeah. on that day. But if you're just doing that very tightrope kind of diet where you are going to eat by gum every little <laughs> calorie you burned off and you're not going to miss a snack, like, I often, be careful. I wonder, too, if you're on like the treadmill or the elliptical or anything like that, how accurate is that when it tries to predict how many calories you are burning during that time? Hopefully, so. the treadmill isn't going this way. and the You know, if, you, if both are off but in the opposite direction, you could really pack on the pound. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, so. just it's good to know. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Stuart, our executive, Stuart really? Does. 100 already? 100. Okay. 100. But they're off a couple hundred, so you lost zero. <laughs> zero. Maybe. Right, maybe, yeah, you're maybe, negative. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's, here's something really interesting, too. Bald men are sexier, and it's not just a matter of opinion. It's actually science. What? Some research done say that some people consider these bald guys more masculine. We actually wanted to know if you felt the same way. Uh, that's something that you can certainly chime in on at River City Live TV. Our bald, look at the bald men that we have up there. I mean... Just, we got our could, own bowl guy, right? We do. We have there our bowl guy. So, and he's, yeah, so he, I see between the masculinity him, in him and Bruce Willis and Jason Statham, I mean, we've got a good collection right there. Yeah. Not everybody could pull off that look. And yeah. you don't really know until you... Yeah, and until you commit it to the part, until right. you shave your head, you're like, oh, man, this was a mistake. But I think what's really cool is that now, now, more than ever, if you have that receding hairline, guys, if you go full on and shave it, it yeah. looks like you have so much more confidence than if you're trying to comb it over. That's true. I, or, yeah, I get that. The toupee. Well, what do you think, though? Like, do you think it's more masculine of a um, look? Or? I think... Uh, I don't know that I've ever looked at it and said, oh, that is so much more masculine, but I definitely think that the difference between someone who's trying to disguise the sure. receding hairline versus somebody who just goes on and yeah, just, it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's more of like an aggressive stance towards like it. Like, like, this is happening, I don't care, I'm rocking Certain it. Certain sexy confidence about you. Yeah, so maybe there's something to it. But we have it on our Facebook page, so definitely weigh in. We'd like to know mm -hmm. what you think about it. You know, we have two great contests that are coming up, and one of them, you could be on this show. That's right, River City Live Cooking. It's our Dale's Cooking Contest. Mm-hmm. Your chance to send in your favorite recipe using Dale's seasonings. Go to Facebook, like we just said, .com, and it's River City Live TV. So here's the thing. Don't feel like you have to be some master TV chef to be on our show cooking. It can be that you just happen to cook all of the time at your house or maybe even once a week. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a good time with it. Or we'll maybe give a special you. dish that your kids eat that you'd like to share. Because I'd like to hear that if somebody has something that... Yeah, uh, that bring your kids on with you if you win. And you get a good Dale's prize package. And then, of course, we have that ambush makeover that you could win to. Nominate somebody that you love. Yeah, so a spouse, a friend. Nominate somebody that desperately needs a makeover. And this includes hair, makeup, and a wardrobe. And we will do it entirely on our show. So you get to see the transformation happen happen here two different one more day yeah for two that. different tabs for one more day two different tabs are on our Facebook page and yes you are able to enter both contests no problem there so head on over to our Facebook page River City Live TV and we will be back